I would say I would say that was the best series of the year so far, at least just from a pure entertainment standpoint. Obviously, there's a lot of there's a lot of positives, but there was a lot of things that uh, kind of got exposed, which is not good. But as far as pure entertainment goes, that was the best series of the year. That I mean, felt like a playoff series every single, even the one thirty kickoffs, you know, on a Saturday and a Sunday felt like playoff games. Yeah, I mean, it's the yeah. two best teams in the AL, AL right now. Two best teams in baseball right now, according to the power rankings. You, yeah. You just so. know we're going to run into them in the postseason. There's no way we get lucky enough to avoid them. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, good and preview. Definitely. It is funny when you look when you look at this team and you thought about it before the season started. This felt like the year that the Astros were kind of going to get ridden off a little bit. This is the first year when we were talking about you know, our preseason rankings, uh, I was saying like, oh, is this the year the Angels can actually win this thing? The Mariners were <laughs> supposed to be good early on. The Athletics didn't look great, but we thought they were going to money ball it again. <clears throat> They're clearly not. Um, and the Rangers just signed Corey Seager and uh, Marcus Simeon. So, like, it seemed like a loaded AL West, and, and the Angels are still they're playing good baseball, although they dropped like 55 in a row. Yeah, that 12-game losing streak didn't help out. No. But this this felt like the first season that, like, you know they don't have Springer. They don't have Garrett Cole. Obviously, this is a few years removed now. But like they, they've lost that entire core. They lost the entire Correa, core. other than Bregman Correa, and Altuve. Springer, exactly. And 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 Cole. Lance oh, McCullers was is still there, I guess. But it, that's he's Alvarez. not a part of that. Yeah, Alvarez is still there, but he's that that core aside from Altuve is and Bregman and, and Bregman is gone. But Bregman's regressed, and Altuve is getting older. So it's just I don't know. It's yeah. a completely different team. It felt that way, and then they get Pe- Pena is playing unbelievable. Kyle Tucker is a very good player in right field. Like all these things, so they are just going to be a thorn in our side again. And I do have a feeling like we're going to run into them. I, it, something that I felt obviously you don't feel great after being no hit for fifty five outs, but I do feel like, and I'm, I'm happy we came away with a split in the series because. It did feel like at times that we were kind of getting dominated, daddy, but yeah, we, yeah. We, we were being. It felt like like a split. It doesn't feel like we split. We're two magical we're, we're, innings we're away to get from away with the split. In that no, season, we're based on how things were going. We're literally two incredible, maybe three incredible innings away from being swept, which is scary. Yeah. That's not, but also but, a, tes- but, a testament to how this team is different in late innings. Yes, but yeah, that's but not. You can't, but you, you can't, can't rely on that. No, you. That's oh, not obviously not. I'm not going to rely on us coming back to the ninth every single game. But I'm just saying it's taking positives away from a potential terrible series. There's all kinds of positives. I agree. Yes, I'm taking away some positives. Is that walking it off against the Astros at home? Pretty fucking cool. I'm just saying this is the. Yes, there's a lot of good feelings, and it feels good to split. Which you know, say what you want, but a split against one the second best team in the AL. Arguably the best feels good, and that's a good. And whoa. it was coming off a stretch whoa, against the Rays. Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. Didn't know this was an Astros. Coming broadcast. off a stretch against the Rays and the Blue Jays, and the, I think we were what, thirteen games against the Rays, the Blue Jays, and <clears throat> the Astros. So, you know what? Splitting that series is a good thing. But on the flip side, of that I will say that's the most uneasy I felt, and that's a testament of how good the team's been. That this is the most uneasy I've felt coming off a series since we were six and six. So yeah, but I also feel like you know, going back to a few episodes ago when we were preparing for the stretch of games that we were about, we were about to face the Rays, we were about to face the the, the Astros, um, Blue Jays, Blue Jays too. We we're all just like we have a very 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 tough stretch of games coming up, and we all agreed, hey, if we split these games, we're happy. It's and true. this is the first time we've really like we we're nine and four. That's not bad. Yeah, yep. and that that's. Again, more than we were asking for going into this. So. What's our record against teams over 500? Like 24 and 11, something like that, which is by far the best in baseball. Don't know. That sounds good. It's somewhere <laughs> It's somewhere in that general vicinity, but it's, it's by far the best in baseball, which is another, you know, the knock on the team from people that aren't Yankees fans. Like, yeah, do it against a good team. Well, there you go. Yeah, I mean, they split against the Astros, which say what you want, but they're beating good teams. They swept the Rays. They beat them two out of three again. The you know, the week after they're beating the blue Jays they're beating the teams that they're supposed to beat, but they're also beating the good teams, the teams above 500, whatever. So I don't know. I'm happy with nine and four. I know that I'm very happy, happy with that as well. 